I don't know, but I'm supposed to drive tonight, so this will be my only drink. I'm still on drink number one, actually. Me I'm done. Me too. Two. I got it. Oh, I can't do it. Can't do what? We gotta film a reel after this because I have a joke. Is it a dirty joke? Nope. Oh. Okay, last topic. And I want you to think about it because it can't be your normal answer, okay? <sighs> All right, introduce us first. Don't ask me yet. Hi, guys. Hi. Welcome back to She Show Videos where I am your host because I have the cue card in front of my face. So and that paper. indicates host status. So Not host status, but host status. Diction is done with the tip of the tongue. And Don't look, you cheating ass trick. What? Oh, my God. First of all, I got a great score on my ACT. Did you cheat? No. <laughs> Not that I recall, but those years are a blur for me at this point. So there's a possibility. Maybe. Before we get started and she tells me what the topic is, like she thinks I can really read that far away. I'm drinking tequila. <laughs> Please subscribe to our Thank channel, you. okay? And while you're out there on the interwebs, check us out on all our socials and go find our podcast. Yeah. She Show Videos After Dark, available anywhere you get your podcast. Spoiler alert, it is not safe for work. So make sure you have your uh, AirPods in. But they're listening. really loving us on our podcast. Hey, you know what? They are. We're, ooh. What is with you in that arm motion? That's what, it, this is the trajectory. You remember when I did the gritty the other day? I did the gritty too. It was really good. One of us did better than the other. Ask your son. What are we talking about? Neither here nor there. Besides tasks, what gets you going? What can Chris <laughs> Taylor do 99.9% .9 of the time to get you where you need to be? Eat my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Not like. So oh, to like get me so you guys okay in let's the act of sexual energy. Let's toss something out. Let's okay. toss the scenario out. Okay. Okay. Let me you and Chris Taylor have been fighting. Okay? He's not pulling his weight around the Can't house. Can't even imagine. Okay. okay. I mean it's gonna take me a while to get there. Think about it. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay. So he you're yelling at him. Mm -hmm. He needs to do more stuff. You're stressed. He's not. You're pissed. Okay? Okay. And he knows that he's gone and fucked up now, okay? Mm, yeah, he did. Because now he said some dumb shit like, I do help all the time. You're just ungrateful. See? Now we're on 10. Uh, I'm at 10. <laughs> okay, we're yeah. at, we're at mm -hmm. a solid 10. Okay. How does Chris Taylor get you back in sexual love? Well, first of all, he'll have to endure the silent treatment for at least two days. <laughs> two days? I gotta get, I gotta... If he pops off and says some shit like I'm ungrateful, I gotta bring it down. Okay, first my mind, my spirit, and then my body, because I'm gonna wanna fight. We'll say the rest of that day and the next day. Okay. So one so, and a half days. Like a 24 hour turnaround yes, time. Yes, I need some time to decompress on my own, because I'm already in my own head. About how you're gonna kill yes. him and put him in the septic. They're natural causes. Okay. So that's <laughs> the first thing, I gotta get out of my own head. Mm -hmm. <sighs> He's a really heartfelt apologizer. Okay. Is that something he's had to learn over time? Yes. Oh. Oh I don't God. like, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Give me some details here. All right, here. Cindy Jean, write it down in the <laughs> I'm sorry is sympathy. Okay, I don't want your sympathy. I want empathy. You need to put yourself in my shoes and tell me what you did wrong. Okay. What do you think was hurtful about what you did? So accountability, if he okay. takes accountability, and he apologizes. Mm -hmm. He's definitely had to have had some acts of service sprinkled in there. Okay, mm -hmm. there's not. If that's not there, it ain't happening. So I won't focus on that. But better done some <laughs> laundry, <laughs> yard. I don't know something. Skip over the acts of service. He appeased your love language in some Thank capacity. You. Uh, and then he's probably gonna have to give me a massage. Okay. okay. <laughs> I feel like I have earned it. I feel like my stress levels were high mm -hmm. and my stress, I feel like I wear my stress very physically. So I get, I feel heavy. I feel tired. Mm -hmm. I feel sore. Like I just don't feel well. So I feel like he's going to have to 
help relax me with those magic fingers. Don't say magic fingers. Oh. Magic Are we hands. talking about like a 15 minute massage? Are we talking about a massage with a happy ending? Well, yeah, there's gonna, if he gives me the massage, I'll give the happy ending. Well, after <laughs> he gives me a, yes, it'll be a reciprocal happy ending. Okay. But yeah, I want like a real massage. I want like, you're not talking about feet. like him paying for you to get a massage. You're talking about an actual massage. An actual massage. Because I, not that I don't like for him to pay for me to get a massage. That's very nice as well. And I do appreciate that. But back to our previous episode, like I want to, if you're trying to get me going, I want to feel your manly body on me. Okay. First of all, I never imagined Chris Taylor is manly. See? <laughs> See? There. But when he is... Mm, if you slide if out, if I slide chair. out of this chair, I can't go on a hike. <laughs> I'm just probably my exercise ring will be closed. <laughs> I don't. I know what your That's sliding it. looks like. Your exercise ring is not closed. I want. I just want accountability. I hate an apology that's like, but you took it the wrong way, or no, just you fucked up. Just say I fucked up, and I am sorry I did that. And here is what I this is what I should have said, or here are some things that are the opposite of what I did fucking say. And then he could give me a massage and we could probably okay. bang it out. So that's his ticket to instant success. Yeah, but there is a, at least a 24 hour silence. 24 hour between. business day of just straight silence. It's, it's pretty silent, literally. Okay. <laughs> I don't, I'm very stubborn in case you didn't know. And I will play the silent treatment as long as I have to. How long have you played the silent treatment? In the multiple past? days. Days? Days. Multiple days. And that's not healthy, okay? <laughs> don't do that. I, I don't want anybody to think that this is like a healthy way. I realize that that's not super <laughs> mature, but sometimes I'm just feeling a certain type of way. And I know that if I open my mouth, I'm going to say some shit. And things are going to escalate. And then when I take accountability, there will be no apology. It'll be like, yes, I said that. And I meant it. And it came out exactly how I wanted it to come out. So okay. I just know if I okay. speak too soon, I'll make it worse. Okay. I know that about That's myself. a mature reason. And I think that most people who have been in long relationships, who go through arguments, because I think it's a very common argument to say, like, my spouse doesn't help me as much. Every no. single yep. woman everywhere yes, has except said that the ones who are married to other women because i feel yeah. like you guys are much luckier i feel like at some point one spouse has said like i do so much and you don't mm -hmm. do enough so like that's a very common fight and i feel like a lot of people overwhelmed and it's hard not to look at your partner and feel especially like you could be doing more to help me especially if your partner is just bebopping around uh, or hanging out with their yeah, friends now bebopping is an okay word to use huh get out but I do agree. Yes. <laughs> You're on the right track. Yeah. So I feel like something that everyone can use is an apology with accountability. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is what I should have said. I didn't mean it that way. This is how I meant it in the explanation. I know that you do a lot. Mm -hmm. My go-to is flowers. If you want to apologize to me, first of all, I never say the silent treatment. One, if you ever yell at me. I instantly go silent because I'm not a child. You, I pay my own bills. You cannot yell at me. I will ask you to leave. We're both adults. Yeah. We should speak to each other. I will honestly that. ask you to leave if you yell at me. I don't care if you pay the mortgage or not. I will say if you are going to talk to me in such a way. I'll pay my own yeah, mortgage. And you, you can, can go. hit that door. Don't let the door hit you with a good Lord split you. But if you're looking to apologize, I like flowers I and that. I think the flowers are acceptance of I fucked up like I did something as wrong. a nonverbal yeah. admittance mm -hmm. okay. like when you fucked up you gotta put some cash on it <laughs> and get me some flowers okay they're $5.99 at the local Aldi it doesn't have to be a lot of cash but you gotta come with it I also like a heartfelt card okay okay you know, sometimes it is easier for humans, but men specifically, mm -hmm. to express feelings in writing than it is verbally. So I feel like that's a, a I good middle ground. I have been told before 
but maybe a couple partners or most of them that I am not emotional. I can see that. <laughs> it is a complaint that I've had time and time again. I you would think people would like, men would like that because no. how many men have you heard say like, Women are so crazy. They're so emotional. They get upset about the stupidest things. Every single man has ever, like most of them say like, I didn't even know you liked me until you told me, like, and I'm like. That's a you problem. I mean, I talk, I text you. I don't talk to everybody on the phone. Trust me, I do not. So that's how I know, but most people say I'm very like. Do you agree? Yes. Okay, I so cannot you help know it. that about you. Jerry does not cry. PRT does not cry. Both of them are lightweight thugs. They can only give birth to a thug. I like thug and thug Is equals your thug. A thug. Yes. That makes sense. <laughs> she's more of like she's a plus thug. I'm like a C minus thug. That you are <laughs> definitely not in these streets. I'll tell you. Yeah. That. Okay. So I feel like. A lot of times when people apologize to me, I don't necessarily say what they think I should say, which is like, oh, I forgive you. I'm like, yeah, you did fuck up. Yes, you did. Yeah, I like agree. you fucked up. You should have done something different. Like, don't disrespect me ever again. We'll call it uh, like move on. But then if you do the same thing again, that's that's where the shit, the shit really hits. I agree. I feel like, which is actually, maybe for your partners, they don't find it to be a redeeming quality, but as a human, it actually is because too many people, and I'll put myself in the same category, I like to say I'm a thug, but I'm not, okay? People- You're definitely the emotional one. I'm guess. definitely emotional, and I'm also, if I get that accountability and that apology and like, I just roll over. So like I'm stubborn in the beginning, but it's hard for me to like actually stand my ground and you don't have that problem. So no. we're like two, two sides to one super fucking sexy coin. I'm a thug in these streets, okay? I can't help it. So with the card and the flowers, let me go back to this okay. in case I ever have to apologize. Brittany and I, by the way, have been in like maybe two fights in our entire 20 plus year relationship. We just don't really fight. No. And quite honestly, the most recent one was her ex-husband's fault. And if he wants to get his ass beat, he can. <laughs> okay. So like one fight in our whole friendship. Nope. Does he Back. want to get his ass beat? I'm not sure. Back to the flowers but, in the car. So flowers in a card. And you, you also still want the verbal accountability the card you want can't... affection after that no. like you just then want I... space then to digest it i want to go back to the way things were before the altercation so i you just yeah you apologized and now we're moving on mm -hmm. you accepted your fault and that's not to say i'm not at fault sometimes but i think that usually when somebody says like I want this, then that becomes my fourth up. I say like, you know, you're an affectionate person. Mm -hmm. If you say, Brittany, I want you to be more affectionate towards me, then I will say, okay, this person requires affection in order for me to show them that I like them. And I try to pivot. Not all the time am I successful in that. No one is all the time successful in anything. But I feel like I navigate that pretty well. Like I've had a previous partner tell me that they want more interaction in public. That's not something that I'm necessarily good at, but when it happened, I was like, okay, like I will try to be better at it. I don't like that. So I get it. So you so try. So you require clear communication exactly. and then you try to tailor your approach, approach to fit the needs of your partner. That is a very mature but my, approach. I feel like my communication is very calm, very like, if you don't Level. tell me, I will never know. I am not You're your not traditional. A I'm never a traditional girly girl. When you tell me all my other girlfriends have been like this. Bitch, how many girlfriends you have? I'm gonna say, okay, but this is new. Okay. Who day? I know. I'm like, I got nothing. Okay. So, yes, the card has to have an apology in it. And then I don't wanna linger on it. I don't wanna be like, 
for the next couple of days like oh I like you and I'm, I'm so exactly sorry and... yeah I want to get back to where we were before and let's you've already said you're sorry I accepted it when I took those flowers and I put them in water <laughs> bitch if those flowers are outside the next day you already know we're not you're fucking done. around no nope. we're you not fucking out. yeah we're you not fucking out. around or if I tell the delivery guy take him back and give Have me the cash would they I don't know. I don't think that works. But I have left some flowers on the doors. I have And you can actually. watch them rot, okay? I've done that too. Yes, you can watch them rot, okay? <laughs> All right. Well, hey, what do you accept to move beyond a fight? Please tell us. Let us know. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Oh, man. It's Keep been a long time since I sent away some flowers. Oof. Yeah, me too. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's been recent. <laughs>